Grace and Peace on August 25th. Our topic this week is humility. For the story, I'm going to talk to you about Sam Rayburn, who was in politics long before I was born. But I know this story, learned it, learned it in a book. No, I learned it from my dad. So Sam Rayburn, um, politician, and he was Speaker of the House. The story is that Sam Rayburn was friends with a reporter. They were uh, apparently on opposite sides of the political spectrum, but still they were friends. And the reporter, uh, his son, passed away very unexpectedly. And Sam Rayburn got the news. And when he got the news, he went over and rang the doorbell of the reporter. The reporter answered the door, was surprised to see him there. Um, and Sam just asked, you know, is there anything I can do for you? How are you doing? Those sorts of things. The reporter was just, you know, I, I'm, I'm okay, we're, we're doing okay. You know, and I don't think there's anything you can do. We're, we're handling the arrangements. Um, Apparently, Mr. Rayburn's reply, have you, have you had breakfast? Have you had coffee? The gentleman said no. Um, Mr. Rayburn came into the house and started to make coffee, at which point the reporter kind of came into the frontal lobe and said, Mr. Speaker, aren't you supposed to be at the White House today? Aren't you having breakfast with the president? And Mr. Rayburn said, yeah. However, I called the president and told him that something else had come up, that a friend had had a tragedy, and that I needed to be here. The Speaker of the House called the president I have no idea what the political party or affiliation was at that point, nor do I care. What I know is that somewhere in my little brain, this story remains with me because that wonderful adage of our thoughts influence our words and our words influence our actions and our actions become our habits and our habits become our character. And the Speaker of the House made coffee in the kitchen of a reporter who was of a different political party and that just really didn't matter one bit over the death of a child because that's what matters humility kindness Jesus gave us really powerful lesson in the synoptic gospels so if it's in Luke 22 beginning in verse 25, or in Matthew 18, in verse 1, or even Matthew 20, beginning at 25, or Mark 10, 42. The lesson has to do with the greatest will be the servant. Humility, to be humble, that's the greatest achievement, our character. May we understand that we do only great things through love as we serve one another. Amen.